Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another campground experience. Now last week, if, you were, if you've been following along, last week we were at Rayburn Park. I'm exploring Lake Sam Rayburn or Sam, Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Sam Rayburn Reservoir down in the East Texas Big Thicket area, southeast quadrant of, of Texas in the Piney Woods. S Sam Rayburn Reservoir is an impound on the Angelina River. There's quite a few Corps of Engineer campgrounds on this beautiful lake, and I think I have found maybe the best one. I mean, they're all great, but if you're looking for a campground that's got a lot of stuff, St. Augustine, which is where we are, we're at St. Augustine, and it's got a lot of stuff. So let's go see some St. Augustine stuff, and we're going to start right here. If you've got a group of folks that are looking to get together down in the East Texas Big Thicket, you'll be happy to know they have got a very spacious open-air group pavilion, power, water, two big cookers, Tables, you're just a short walk from the, the facilities. And you got a bit of a lake view right there. This campground has got so much going for it. So I'm gonna pull out a little red and we're gonna go see some St. Augustine stuff. I've been to several of the campgrounds here on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. And so far St. Augustine has more waterside campsites than any of the campgrounds I've been to, with possibly the exception of Hanks Creek. Of course, it's been quite a while since I was there. The downside, as you can see, they are all on a slope. And that would be almost impossible to get level all right let's let's go see a boat ramp this visit has been sponsored by rv mattresses by brooklyn bedding use the link in the description below and in the card above rvmattresses.com backslash dude rv click on that link find your mattress they have got you they have got a mattress for you Find your mattress, use the code DUDERV, and they're going to give you oh, a sweet discount. In addition to that, their mattresses are made right here in the good old U.S. of A. They're going to give you free shipping. I'm going to charge you for it. You get a 120-night trial. So you can sleep on that bed for 120 nights, three months. And if you don't like it, you get your money back. If you decide to keep it, you have a 10-year warranty. How cool is that? Use the link, use the code, Dude RV, save some money. All right, let's go see some stuff. My boat ramp fans will be happy to know. Oh, they got you covered. A four laner. There's even a courtesy dock. We'll go check that out. But first, I didn't know this, uh, but there's a consumption advisory for this water body or adjacent areas. I kind of presume that it's high levels of uh mercury maybe i don't know before you go and eat the fish out of sam rayburn reservoir you might want to know what that is <laughs> that was like it was like a carnival uh fun house walk anyway looks like water level is Per substantially low here. I, I didn't really appreciate over the last two days how low the water is until I get down here and I see the courtesy dock. Now that's cool. It's a kayak launch. Doesn't do you any good right now. When the water comes back up, it will. So there's your boat ramp from the courtesy dock. You wanna, you wanna watch me walk across the, all right. 
we'll, we'll do some b-roll walking across the the ramp i'll let you see it from, from both ends <laughs> I can't help but laugh. All right. Can't walk. Can't, can't do my normal hobble with this. Going, going down. I guess I'm easily entertained. <laughs> Let's go see some more stuff. So looking at all the sites, I've, I've cruised through here in the truck, and then I cruised, I've done some cruising on the scooter. And of all the sites, because for me, getting level is, is almost as important as locale. Uh, I'm looking for shade, easy to get level, water access, privacy. Not necessarily in that order. 60, site number 60 fits that bill. It would be pretty simple to get a level. You got water access, you've got some shade. Of course, it's gonna, it's gonna have some sun exposure, but you're not gonna be fighting to get level. Now, 61 and 62 are are in a close second and third place. And 63. So 61, 62, 63. Of course, 63 runs way downhill. So you'd have to do a lot of blocking on the back. The same with 62. It's running down. But now you know the now you know the sites to look for. All right, let's go see what else we can find. I'm thinking they don't get too many tent campers at this campground. Because the, the tent site seem to be in a bit of neglect. But these are kind of interesting to me in that they all seem to have, well, not all, but a lot of them seem to have power. Nice, like number 72. Great big tent pad. You can actually put a couple of tents there. It, it hasn't been mowed. Water and. Oh, that's a 30 amp. Water and 30. Water and 30 amp. I don't know what you what you would do with your 30 amp, but there was also 110. All right, let's go find some more stuff. If, if you have a wheelchair and you're wanting and you're wondering about showers here at St. Augustine, they actually have a modern concrete block with a handicap shower, but they also have an older structure that actually has a, probably the best handicap shower I've seen. On, on the lake so far since I've been focusing on that. All right, let's go see some more stuff. If you have a trailer, a fifth wheel, or a, a bumper pull, number 89 would be a great site, especially if you got a kayak, because you've got perfect kayak launch point right there. Just know it runs way downhill, so you would need some pretty substantial blocking or at least I would with with my Super C motorhome. I'd need to block up the rear 
quite a bit for it to get level. Let's go see something else. If, if you're planning a trip out to St. Augustine, and you're gonna have kiddos with you, they'll be excited to know there's a play structure. Rubber mulch, those swings that you can go real high and jump off. It looks like we have a nature trail. The trail going somewhere. The St. Augustine Park Trail. But the map is washed out. That seems to be a common thing here on Sam Rayburn Lake. All of the trail maps are so bleached out you can't read them. All right, let's go see a beach. So if getting wet is high on your list of priorities for your RV adventure or your lake adventure or your tent adventure, if you need to go, if you want to go swimming, St. Augustine Park Campground has got you covered with an actual sandy beach. They even have volleyball. And if it's important to you to be close, as close to that as possible, <laughs> right across the street, you can you could get some small RVs in there. Or I, you know, I could get Trudy in some of these. Like this one. I could get Trudy level in that. I'd have to block up her front. It'd probably freak people out seeing me roll in here with that big old Super C, though. If you want to see this in better detail, click on the subscribe button. Every Wednesday, I do a virtual tour. So today is Sunday. You're watching the campground experience video. Wednesday, you'll see the virtual tour. And that's where I strap on this GoPro and I tour all the paved road surfaces oh now wait a minute site number 14 for those of you who take notes when you watch my video site number 14 check this out that is pretty easy to get level and you're right there looking at the water you've got some shade yeah and you're not too far from the modern cement blockhouse restroom yeah <laughs> That's good stuff right there. Speaking of stuff, let's go see some. Planning on camping at, where are we? St. Augustine campground? You're gonna wanna get up and leave early because there's only one dump station and it's a one holer. So just, just plan ahead to, to leave early. All right, let's go see some more stuff. good. There's liable to be trouble out there today. We're liable to have folks among us who are here for more than just a good time, if you know what I mean. Now, the minute it looks like there's going to be trouble, we got to nip it. Nip it in the bud. Nip it. Let's hear it. Nip it. Howdy. Where are you going? going in circles. Yeah. Uh, story of my life, you know, I go around in circles, yeah. round and round. You got a camper in? Well, I have Super C Motor Home, is that the dealer having a new floor put on it, so I'm living in a tent over at Twin Bridges, camping out of the back of the F-150. I have an air conditioner, so I'm not suffering. Not well, they are if you have mobility issues. The Americans with Disability Act allows me to use this wherever they allow people to walk or ride a bicycle. I do sing and didn't, didn't know what you was up to. I have a YouTube channel. I'm Dude RV. I create videos for you, the RVer, so that you'll know what to expect when you get to a given campground. And I have a specific focus on the disabled and mobility challenge. Because I are one.
Y'all have a good day? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know who they were. Let's talk about St. Augustine Campground. I just had to have the conversation. And, and for those of you who have been following along, you, you know what the conversation is. For those of you who don't, that's, that's when I'm told I can't operate my mobility scooter in a campground. I have to teach them the, the proper things. But anyway, let's sum up St. Augustine Campground. It's a really pretty campground. The sites are really in bad shape. Uh, the roads are horrible. Beautiful place. I would come back here, but it really needs some renovation in a really bad kind of way. But I like it. I like all the stuff. Uh, I, I don't typically swim, but there's a beach to go swim. There's a play structure. There's a group of all kinds of stuff to see. Best of all, I saw a herded deer when I came in and they have water access. Easy to walk down the water in so many places. And I haven't seen that on this trip. Up at Hanks Creek, the last time I was on Sam Rayburn, there's lots of walk up water access there, but not like here. This so far has been the bomb for water access from the bank. I really think you ought to come back. Uh, it's little bit off the beaten path for a waypoint stop. Uh, it is definitely the destination. This is definitely worth coming out and spending a week or so just hanging out and enjoying Mother Nature. It's super quiet. Lots of birds singing. You hear them? All right, well that brings us to the end of our visit. Stay tuned, because next week we're going to visit another campground here on, on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. We're going to Mill Creek next week. So make sure you click on the subscribe button You're gonna, and remember to hit that bell as well, because you want to watch every episode of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow, don't you? <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this production, please give me a thumbs up and blast me across your social media. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, oh, hold on, hold on, we gotta, we gotta get a better backdrop than that. We gotta go, that is, that's why I do what I do. Thank you for that opportunity. I am most grateful for that and for my patrons. I am truly grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?